For the last panel, the bottom panel, we proceed slightly different. Instead of um, gluing, uh, spraying glue on the actual stiffener panel, we will be spraying glue on the liner panel because we don't want the free edges of the stiffeners to uh, get glue on them. So I placed a piece of paper underneath the edge, the left edge of the liner, and I'm going to spray uh, glue on uh, the uncovered part of the liner, trying to minimize the overspray on the other sections. So now I will remove the piece of paper and place the panel down, making sure I maintain alignment. And I will remove the piece of tape that is on the left side of the panel, the one that's being glued down. I'm going to leave the other one on. Alright, at this point we are preparing to cover, to uh, glue the outer cover on top of the uh, liner and the stiffeners. I placed the cover on top of the sandwich using the alignment notches to, uh, to place it exactly in position. So the alignment notches on side 1 and side 2 of the panels of the liner and cover, they should uh, overlap. Once this is put in place, I will use tape to secure the left edge of the cover to the table and the rest of the assembly. Once the left edge is secured, we fold it open, making sure that the tape does not get undone. At this point, we are ready to spray the inside uh, surface of the sandwich. We're going to spray uh, glue on top of the liner stiffener sandwich on the exposed area. Now we will spray glue on top of the exposed liner, a liner, san a li liner stiffener sandwich. We make sure there is enough glue on all areas of the surface. And very carefully, starting from the edge that's secured, we will be placing the cover down. making sure the alignment is being maintained. And at this point, we can remove the strips. At this point we can wait until the glue cures.